what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i am bringing you my christmas decor extravaganza no i don't know why i called it that but if you're new here welcome definitely hit that subscribe button i do a lot of lifestyle mommy and organization videos and today for you i can't wait i get to show you my christmas decor so if you're into this video definitely hit that like button i have a whole amazon playlist everything will be linked for you down below just like these seat covers aren't these amazing okay so you guys know I have four kids and it just looks horrible after they're done eating or basically wherever their presence has been. And now I have these beautiful chair covers that cover them right over and they look like velour or velvet or they're just so pretty. I highly suggest them. And then I'm going to be doing a whole separate video on my Christmas tree chandelier. Everybody's been asking me like, what is it? What is it? And I'm a little bummed because I didn't, for some reason, the lights weren't on it until the very, very end. You'll see with the lights on, but I love the way that it turned out. It's so pretty. I actually made this star from a stocking holder. Since my tree has to be so small, if you guys are new here, I actually went from a 4,000 square foot to an RV so I could travel and be with my family, which is absolutely amazing, but it definitely means you have less stuff. So. Next up, we have my Christmas wreath that I got from Michael's. And it's so funny, my son just saw this clip. He's like, wow, mom. He's like, that looks so different than the way it actually turned out. And I just love that you can take something and you can make it look different or you can make it match your decor better. So keep in mind when you're out there, if you're thrift shopping or you're going to garage sales or whatever it is, you can take out the red, take out different things or cut things out. That's where you get creative and then you can make it match your space. And that's what I love about decor. It's just such a creative thing that you can do. It's an amazing outlet for me and you guys just know I love it. So anyways, I take these gold sprigs because I'm doing gold and I'm just adding them into the tree. And I guess the way like a wreath works is everything goes in the same direction. I started putting them like opposite at first and then I was like, oh, everything goes in the same direction. So you want to stick them in there in the direction that everything is already placed. It makes it look like it's supposed to be there. And then I added these gold little birds like how whimsical and cute is this my family just absolutely loved it and i was just really really proud of the way that it turned out and it was inexpensive because i think the wreath was i'm gonna say 15 dollars or 20 dollars on sale i'm gonna say 15 i'm pretty sure it was 30 full price but michael's was having a sale so it was 15 dollars. definitely start going now while everything's on sale and then you know since i'm in an rv everything has to be command strip which i suggest anyways for the holidays so you can pull things down and it won't damage anything but the location i'm putting this is right where you can see it when you walk in this was the biggest space that i had available and now that i'm looking at it i'm like wait a second when i take that down it's probably going to look so bare anyways i'm going to be redoing the backdrop i'm going to be putting tiles peel and stick tile up here anyways when that comes down so maybe that'll dress it up a little bit when we're done <laughs> Next up, we have this little area by my um, cooking setup, and I'm going to just be adding this little tree. Now, the thing when you live in an RV is you have to pull everything out to use things. So I know you guys see like my spices and all that. It gets too hot up there. I literally have to pull it to the side to use it, but I just kept it really simple over there. Nothing too crazy. Next up is this space underneath my TV. So it goes my wreath, then my TV, and then this little space down here. And two, I don't have a lot of counter space, so I can't have something that sticks out really far or, you know, is going to take up too much counter space. So I had to think of something that would still be pretty, but still three dimensional. I didn't want to just stick like a sign up there or something like that. So um, I got this wreath and I cut it in half because I didn't need the full length, which is great because I used the other part on my coffee bar, which I'll be showing you guys later. And then I got this little long I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's like another wreath or something, but it's wire and it's gold and it's really nice that you can like wrap it around whatever you want. And this is where your eye has to get creative and fill in the dead space. So you don't want any blank spaces when you're decorating and you want to be able to wrap it around where it kind of looks more natural, I guess. So you're kind of hiding the wire or the branches in certain spots and all of that. And then here you just see me playing with the gingerbread houses and all the trees and I'm just trying to decide which looks best and I ended up going with all trees I really love those gingerbread houses I, I think I have to return one because I didn't end up using it but I just love the way that it looked after it was done with the tree and this little setup here and I just really think it adds like a wow factor and I feel like when you're decorating you need that wow factor and everything else can be kind of simple 
I mean, I'm never simple. You guys know I'm extra, but <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to show you these cute little snowmen. These are from home goods. Stay to the end of the video because I'm going to be giving you guys a tour and showing you where I got everything in full detail. But my kids love snowmen, so I like having little things like this. And this isn't really taking away from the decor, even though it's like red and all that, because I have little touches of red everywhere. Then, oh, you guys, these glasses are life. So one of the creative things I like to do when I'm making my coffee bar is get these really pretty glasses and fill them up with stuff instead of using, you know, little cups or whatever that you're supposed to use. I think this just adds an elegant touch to what you're doing and it just dresses it up a little bit more. Then I also have these absolutely beautiful um, champagne flutes, which what the great thing is, is you can reuse them later for whatever they're supposed to be for. But for now, I'm making my coffee bar with them. So we got some Andes, which is delish. You know, these are the peppermint ones, so they're red. We have some white fudge chocolate covered Oreos. This is the fun part for me, okay? Pepperidge Farm, whoa, that went really fast. Sorry guys, they were the Pepperidge Farm um, peppermint stuff um, cookies. And then we had two different kinds of those marshmallows. And then we have some plastic straws, which are reusable, and some candy canes. Oh, those marshmallows were reindeer and gingerbread men. So cute. Okay, so then in the champagne flutes, I'm adding the straws. I think they turned out so cute. And then we're going to do candy canes in the other one. And you can see my son popping in. He just loves saying hello, my little precious little angel. He's so sweet. And then we're going to just start adding all of the candy and different things in here. And I feel like what makes a huge impact is if you arrange your sweets in a decorative way, which I don't have much here. So it was super simple to do that. But even if you're using like bigger jars or bigger plates or whatever, try to make them look as uniform or like they're intended to be that way. I think it really has a bigger impact on um, your coffee bar if you arrange things accordingly. I don't know, that's just my opinion. You don't have to, of course. But um, I just think it makes everything look so pretty. And then um, I'm just dumping these in here. Um, I just like that it adds the red color and adds some texture, it's so pretty. And these are pretty much gone, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna post on my stories, I wanted to wait, but my kids already did the coffee bar the day that I filmed this. Look at those gingerbread men, I'm obsessed. Um, but I did the whole coffee bar thing and I'll probably show you guys. I don't think I'll do a whole video on it, but I'll definitely show you guys on Instagram. And then the little reindeer, I think they, these were chocolate filled, if I remember correctly. Okay, so what's nice about this RV is I actually have a coffee bar. And so my husband just got this new Nespresso. I will link this down below, you guys. It's amazing. I'm not a coffee, a huge coffee drinker. He's got me into half calf now, which I'm like, I usually do decaf, but now I'm drinking half calf. I'm like, what are you doing? You're converting me. But it just, it's such a good coffee machine. So anyways, I'm adding my little trees. I got this vertical standing um, coffee cup stand, which I think is amazing. And then I found this little tree skirt to go around my blinged out two tiered tray, which you guys, my husband was telling me to get the other one that was plain, but I'm just like, I can't. This just is, it's just me. So, you know, I went with the bling. Then I'm taking the other half of this wreath. Um, is it wreath? If it's long and straight, I don't know. Anyways, I'm wrapping the gold around again, and I'm going to stick this underneath just to add some more dimension and color because it is very white over here, and I want to tie everything together. So you want to think about when people walk into your room, you want to add... Um, color from every corner or angle so it all ties in together there doesn't have to be a lot it doesn't have to be exactly the same but your eye is going to draw to that color and it's gonna make everything look super cohesive so definitely keep that in mind when you're decorating your space and for me I am I don't really like seeing super empty spaces that's just my not my style but I mean if you're doing like farmhouse or something like that which I love farmhouse it's absolutely beautiful when I see people doing it I'm like that's stunning but for me I just like more of a glam look so my space is filled up a little bit more I don't think my overall space but like my coffee bar is definitely more full and I just like that I just feel like it feels very welcoming and I don't know I'm just I really, really like it so now I'm just sticking these in the bottom here and if you are having a party or whatever, you can pull them out. That's what we ended up doing, but I'm just sticking them back here because it's a nice place um, and it looks so cute. 
but we pulled all ours out because the kids couldn't really reach it back there. And look at this gingerbread man. This is syrup, what is it called? Vanilla syrup that goes inside your coffee. We have some cocoa, and these are both from Home Goods. And I think they were super affordable, like $3.99. And then we got some sprinkles. You can't have a coffee bar without sprinkles. And I just love these little flutes, champagne flutes. I'm definitely gonna be reusing these because they turned out so, so good. Isn't it beautiful? And then I had to switch these because it was too tall. So you wanna keep moving things around and making sure the space ratio is proper and that things aren't being covered up and that you like the heights of everything. You want there to be dimension in the things that you're doing um, and you don't want it to cut off anywhere. And then I got these little sprigs from Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're not my favorite. I'm not gonna tell you guys that I love them when I don't, cause I really don't but I still felt like I wanted to stick something on the tray. I could have left it without. Either way looks good. I mean, I still could change my mind, but um, I thought it was a fun little thing you could add to the tray. Then I got this milk and cookie sign, North Pole sign from Target, and it was only $3, and I'm sticking some Velcro on here. And I'm not really worried about it damaging my wall because I'm actually gonna be putting peel and stick tile up here, but I thought I would do it after Christmas, so like I was saying before, so that way it doesn't look so bare. <laughs> and then I found those stockings, you guys, at Target. They're supposed to be for like gifts or whatever, and they're the perfect size. This is exactly what I was looking for. I was like, I'm trying to find these gift card stockings for our stockings because we obviously don't have a huge fireplace anymore. And I found one with everybody's initial, what are the odds? I'm just like, ah, oh, the Christmas gods were shining down on me, or obviously it was Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so anyways, um, now I'm just cutting off all these little things, but I just think this is one of my favorite little areas because I just didn't think I was going to be able to do that this year. And I actually did. So, so, so cute. Then, um, I got this wreath. I did the same thing. I added one sprig at the top and actually just tucked it in there. It's not even like attached. Then I think a really easy way to feel very festive for the holidays is to dress up your couch. And for me, this doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. You want it to look as cozy as possible. I just threw white blankets up there. I was already using these pillows. The only thing I added was this center pillow with a little bit of gold detail to tie everything together. And I added this little Mary sign and the little snowman. And I think it just looks so warm and cozy. But this is pretty much what it looks like when you guys walk into my RV. And I just love the way everything turned out. It just makes me feel super festive in there. Honestly, when my husband um, saw all the bags, he's like, where are you gonna put all this stuff? Obviously, because our space is so small, he was like freaking out. I was like, don't worry, it's gonna fit, and I will return whatever I don't use. <laughs> so anyways, here's this little area here. I'm so happy with it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this little area first. So I got this Believe sign. This was from Michaels. Everything that I got is new this year. Um, I normally do with like a traditional red and white theme, but this year since we're in a smaller space, I didn't need to buy as much. Don't tell my husband that because he probably thinks I bought just as much. I got to do a different color scheme, which is so much fun. I got to add in gold elements, which I've never done for Christmas. And so we are mixing metals. We have gray tones, glitter galore, we have flocked Christmas tree and garland, and now all of these trees were separate except for these three um, are like on one little stand. But I love this mixed metals. These two are all separate, but I just think it looks so beautiful. I added, like I told you guys, I showed you earlier, I mixed in those there. Okay, so then up here we have that wreath I showed you guys, and then I added the gold and I added the birds. Hun, did you see the birds I added? Oh, I added the sprigs of gold and the birds. Those were from Michaels and so was the wreath. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, so this part is actually a little hilarious because I love these plates. They're so pretty. I got them from Home Goods. I'm gonna have little pretty white plates. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it's gonna look like. Can you tell that they're paper towels? <laughs> Um, so I got these beautiful little napkin rings from Michaels and this is not how it's gonna look It's like it goes like this to the side, but once a real napkin is in here, it'll stick in there a little bit easier. So um, But I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like. It'll look like eh, It'll look like that. See isn't that so pretty so I have four here and then I love how my tree skirt has this little thing I'm gonna get two little 
votive. Um, I'm gonna do the battery operated candles. I'll get those in there later, but oh, look at my tree, you guys. This is my chandelier Christmas tree. I came up with this concept. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Because we have such a small space, I wanted the kids to be able to color, still do all our stuff. I'm gonna push it back when, you know, during the day and stuff when we're not using it. Obviously, I'll clear the table out, um, except if we have a special occasion or the kids wanna have a fun dinner, um, I'll move this tree back. But the, since it's up high, you can still conversate. I think they call it, call it like a conversation centerpiece, which I absolutely love. But I just think like, look at the details of the tree, that beautiful gold star. It says joy. I just think it turned out so, so pretty. I'm very, very happy with the outcome. And then you guys, I got these off of Amazon. They're actually chair covers because my chairs are ugly. My kids eat here. And so they're stained already and disgusting, but you can interchange them and they look, make it look so much nicer. And then I'll pull them off let my kids mess up the stuff underneath, but yeah. Okay, then over here we have this little wreath and I pretty much just stuck it up there. It's not even um, fixed or anything like that. And then we have all of this, how cute, right? It says Merry Christmas, well no it says Merry, but you know what we're supposed to say. And then on my couch, I've already had like the white and the glitter and stuff like that. So I added the white pillow or the cream pillow with the gold. And then we added this cute little snowman, which is, she's so cute. Okay, and then you guys, how adorable. Did this not turn out absolutely perfect? It's perfect. So we have me and my husband and all of my children and I'm just obsessed with it. I'm so happy with the way that it turned out and they're so tiny and I wanted white ones and then there are touches of red here so it's absolutely perfect. So anyways, don't mind all the dirt on the floor. It's like glitter central around here. Okay, so in here, this is our coffee bar. Like how cute you guys. So we have one of these, the same one over there on the other side and then we have this one with the pearls back here. So pretty. I love pearls. I actually wanted to put pearls on my tree, but I ended up not doing that. We got the bling right here, champagne flutes with candy canes inside. Then I have the straws in the same type of flute right here um, with these candy canes. These are actually plastic and you can reuse them. All right, so then up top here we have hot chocolate and I have that vanilla syrup with the little gingerbread man, how cute. And we have some sprinkles, cause you gotta have sprinkles, of course. Then we just have all of our yummy, delicious stuff. We have cookies, marshmallows, we have chocolate, and we have um, some gingerbread marshmallows back there for the kids to do. And then here's the garland that we had, you guys, and then we added all the, like, the gold pieces and all of that. And then I have a stack of cups, which is so perfect in here because it takes up only vertical space. So I just loved how cute those were. The kids absolutely love snowmen. And then we have this, look at this iridescent Christmas tree, this big one. And actually this little one lights up, which is so cute. So anyways, everything turned out so adorable. Oh, and you can't forget our North, North Pole milk and cookie sign. That was from the Target dollar spot. And I think it just literally brings everything together. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Everything will be listed for you guys down below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that little bell. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a Christmas tree emoji and let me know that you did. Take care, you guys. I'm always your girl, Luna Marie. Bye. Mwah.